what do you know anyway? There's a friend. You're my mom. There's a neighbor. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. I'm really glad you came by here today. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Have you ever offered advice to someone who came seeking it? A family member, a friend, a neighbor, a colleague. And they came seeking the advice. You offered it and they didn't apply it. However, down the road at some point, they met somebody else who told them the exact same thing and they raved about the fact that it resolved whatever issue they were facing at the time. That ever happened to you? Of course it has. You know why? We put people into boxes. They do the same to us. Keep us from knowing one another. Separate sister from brother. From knowing we are one. To do that sort of thing, you must keep alive the past and creating the life. If you do it, no, it will not last. Because only living in the present lets you move ahead. Take a giant leap forward instead of dwelling in the ho-hum. Who a person is happens in the moment. Who a person was no longer exists. Remember what you focus on persists. To change your world, resist living in your past. To change your world, insist on seeing people now and how they really are. You'll be amazed at what you find. Others become what you expect. Others become what you accept them to be. Don't you see? You create them in the reality that lives in your mind and may not be who they really are. Open your heart to find You've been living in a story, missing all the glory. Step into the now, see with clear vision, make the revision that leads to a happier now. No more boxes, no more labels, no more expectations. That's the way to move to a higher vibration and attract a sensation of life. No more strife. You'll be living your very excellent life. So, we have a definition of how somebody's going to behave, and we have an expectation. We expect them to behave a certain way in a certain situation, and we will only accept, we will only see the behaviors they exhibit that fit the definition we have of them. But the thing is, you're living in the past when you do that, and you can't live in your past. If you're living in your past, if you're living in your future, you're not living. You can only live in the present moment. You can only create in the present moment. You can only change in the present moment because in the present moment, you're living from your heart. If you're in the past, you're in your mind. If you're in the future, you're in your mind. Your ego mind. And what's the job of the ego mind? To keep you stuff stuff to keep you stuck because your ego mind's afraid of annihilation which of course will happen if you stop feeding it if you stop paying attention to it and you do need it here and there so let me give you a concrete example of what I'm talking about I had a friend some years ago and he was so negative I just really didn't like to be around him and a circumstance came up where we were needing to go on a long car trip together just the two of us for a whole weekend 
and I was telling a friend, I'm not sure I can handle this. And she said, you need a different listening to him. A different listening. That's why Mark Education talk. Different listening means you're seeing him in the box you put him in. Look differently. Open the box. Forget your past pictures and see him for who he is. No, the real him. And I did totally let go of my expectations, except that I decided I was going to look for the fun stuff. And you know what? I had a wonderful weekend. I had a good time. I mean, we became friends. Well, we were friends anyway, but I mean, we became a friend I could be around without getting drained. So, what are you going to do today? to help you change what you're doing when you're with other people and putting them inside a box, putting them inside a definition and that leaves you feeling less than great, less than happy, less than living your very excellent life. And by the way, I've created a course showing you how to live your very excellent life. It's going to take me a while to put it up, to format it and all. And I'll let you know when it's available for you. So after you're done here, go in down below. Tell us about either something that happened to you because people were putting you into a box or something that you're aware of that you can change because you are putting somebody else into a box. In Melly Beerman, you'll find me at your relationship intelligence dot com. <laughs>